So we've been talking about defunding the police. Uh, there's some issues that we ask police to do, like mental health issues or policing in schools and all the rest, that perhaps we can uh, shuffle some of that money around. Suck it up. Defunding the police has to happen. We need to defund the police. Mayor Eric Garcetti saying, take some of the money from policing, about $150 million. I applaud Eric Garcetti for doing what he's done. Not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. So yes, defund your butts, defund you. Yes, I support the reallocation of resources uh, from NYPD. We will be moving funding from the NYPD to youth initiatives and social services. They are talking about reducing the allocation of resources to that department. And I think every single city in this country ought to be thinking about the same thing. Yes, I support the defund movement. I'm for responsible reallocation of resources. And defund the police. I think you do all those other things, you don't need all the money that's going to the police department. So yeah, I mean, the spirit of it, I, I, I do support that. Yeah, and you know, a lot of us were asked if we could imagine a future without police back in 2017 when we, when we were running for office. And I answered yes to that question. We are gonna reduce funding in the police department and redirect that money. There's no reason the police budget should just keep growing and growing and growing. They can make sensible cuts to police. We propose to redirect over $7 million from the police bureau. That our city, through our city administrative officer, identified $250 million in cuts. Rashida Tlaib tweeting, no more policing, incarceration, and militarization. It can't be reformed. When they're saying defund the police, what are they saying? They're saying we want fundamental, basic change when it comes to policing. Uh, and they're right. We are reallocating funds. The, the police department here in Minneapolis needs to be dismantled and we need to start anew. In some necessary cases, completely dismantling those police forces. Police departments uh, are taking a sizable uh, amount of the budget of a lot of municipalities and, and other entities. Uh, we need to look at those budgets, pull some of the money back, and invest it in other things. We are committed to shifting resources. Our calls to defund the police have been met with resistance. To stop investing so much money in this militarized police force and instead invest in the things that our community really needs. Yes, I support a radical reimagining of community safety and public safety. I do believe that we need to re reallocate resources away. And will this involve cuts? Yes, of course, to every department, including the police department. And so when we dismantle it, we get rid of that cancer. When we said defund the police, the world woke up. I, I really love that uh, Black Lives Matters and uh, other protesters have put this front and center to defund. Defunding police means defunding police. If these reports are accurate, then these proposed cuts to the NYPD budget are a disingenuous illusion. This is not a victory. The freshman Democrat adding the fight to defund policing will continue. We are going to reimagine policing in New York City. I think the idea of having a police-free future is very aspirational. And I am willing to stand with community members who are asking us to think of that as the goal. Should be defunding or dismantling their police departments, such as in Minneapolis and, and New York. My answer is yes to that. We need to be looking at it clearly. Which means reallocating mm -hmm. um, and, and not further investing in a carceral state. Going through a process of dismantling that institution. So defunding the police um, for me, it means a reallocation of funds. Why use the word defund? Why use the word defund? And it's like, this is the word that's coming from the streets, you know? We're going to dissolve the gun violence reduction team, the school resource officer program, and the transit specialty units. You don't have one bad apple. You don't have four bad apples. You, you have a, a system-wide problem in that police department. And only by completely dismantling that system and rebuilding it intentionally with the community members at the table, do you have any hope of, of getting it right? Coming together as a community to reimagine what public safety looks like for us. Uh, we talk about 
defunding the police, uh, defund defunding the Pentagon. My push is that we defund our police departments. This idea of reprioritizing our budget, um, this idea of, of moving funds and reinvesting. It means that we need to look at ways in which we can reduce the amount of resources that we're providing to the department, redirect those funds. To make sure that, um, that defund is first understood and that we bring that home to our community. So Minneapolis unanimously just voted on a resolution that will engage uh, the community uh, on a one-year process of what happens as we go through the process of dismantling the department and starting anew. And what we committed to was a community process to help reimagine public safety. The city council in Minneapolis made the right decision. So when we talk about defunding, it can show up in multiple ways. We obviously took money out of the NYPD budget, put it into youth programs, put it into social services, put it into recreation centers for young people. Um, that's really the, the right direction. I'm glad we did that. Not only do we need to defund, but we need to dismantle and start anew. Allows us to really reimagine what public safety should look like in our community. It means a dramatic reduction in the number of police in our poor communities, and particularly our poor black and brown communities. I'm asking you to ask yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice to make sure that overfunded police departments are defunded? Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis Police Department, to end policing as we know it. And so what we are advocating for is a reorientation, reimagining of what public safety should be 